Is everything loaded, Red? That's the last of it, Miss June. If you're ready, we'll be headed back for the camp. I have to wait for the stage from Pine Junction. It's bringing in some mail for Father. And here it comes, right on the minute. That's the Foster Stage Company for you. Here's your mail, Miss June. Thanks, Bill. Hello, Miss Foster. Hello, Mr. Higby. You're looking as lovely as ever. Thanks. Did you enjoy your trip to Washington? No, I can't say that I did. I ran into miles of red tape trying to settle some land grants. I can sympathize with you. Father's had similar experiences. How's your father coming along with the new stage road? He's really making progress now. I finally got permission from the Franchise Commission in Washington to put the road through the Comanche Strip. Through government land? Yes. Well, that'll save you a good ten miles, won't it? It certainly will. All ready, Miss June. I'm coming, Red. Will you excuse me, Mr. Higby? Father's waiting for us at the crossroads. Why, certainly. And it's far enough from the road camp so that... Hello, Dexter. Well, I didn't get much by paying your expenses to Washington, did I? There wasn't anything I could do. I pulled every wire I know how to keep the Foster Stage Road out of the Comanche Strip. But you failed. Well, wasn't it worth it to find out that the government is going to open up the Strip to homesteaders if the Foster Stage Road is completed? Yes, that did help a little. The minute I got your letter, I decided to finish Foster and his stage line once and for all. I know of no legal means you can take. You forget legal means. There's no law on the Comanche Strip. Nothing but outlaws and Indians. That's why I can play the game my own way. And it's a big game, Higby. 500,000 acres of the finest grazing land in the West. That land is going to belong to me. Not to a lot of tin horn settlers following a stage road. Well, I hope you fix things so that you won't be suspected. My hand won't show. This is going to be the work of a lot of renegade Indians.
Fly wagon coming tomorrow, boss? Yes, Henry, it should be here before long. Agent's headed here. Red Junior just to jump ahead of him in the wagon. Get your rifles, men. Take cover. Hold it, Brady. Ride to the cavalry post and get Captain Cameron's troops. Right. about that. We can always depend on Duke Cameron.
So you see, Colonel Andrews, I'm going to carry on my father's work just as he would have wished. The new stage road is going through no matter what happens. I admire your spirit, Miss Foster, and wish you full success. But I can't understand why Captain Cameron requests a furlough to aid you in your work. If the Colonel please. Miss Foster and her father have been my friends ever since I came here from West Point. In view of what has already happened, Miss Foster can expect a lot more trouble in building a road through the Comanche Strip. But the Comanche Strip is federal territory, Captain. The Army will furnish your protection from renegade Indians. The danger isn't from Indians, sir. I found large sums of money on the dead warriors, which means that white men engineered the whole thing. Look at this, sir. New paper money. Hmm, this is a serious complication, Captain Cameron. If the white men are stirring up the Indians, we've got to uncover them before this district is torn wide open. Give me leave of absence, Colonel, and I'll find out who the men are and what they're after. If you could get this evidence as a civilian, we might avoid the useless bloodshed which would follow martial law. All right, Captain. Your furlough begins right now. Thank you, sir. Dexter, we're in trouble. Read this. Duke Cameron now had a Foster stage lines. Captain Duke Cameron has been granted an indefinite leave of absence to assume the position of superintendent of the Foster Stage Company. He's down at the Silver Dollar now, trying to engage men for the job. Uh, we can't let them get organized again. Listen, you men get down to the Silver Dollar and start a fight, and run this man Cameron out of town. Do anything you can to keep those men from signing up for the Stage Company. We're going to need laborers, teamsters, and powder men. The job will be steady, so we want good, willing workers. We're ready to pay top wages, 60 a month and grub. That's good pay. That sounds all right. Foster's always treated us square. That sounds good, but how do we know we're going to get paid? I hear the company's pretty hard up. You heard wrong, Turner. Miss Foster's got enough cash coming in by Wells Fargo tomorrow to finish the job. The money will be at the camp by noon. And what's more, any man who wants to can draw a week's pay in advance. What good will the money do us? The Indians will scalp us the same as they did the others. I'll take care of that, Ward. I'm organizing a guard to protect the camp. But of course, anybody who's timid needn't join up. I'm only looking for men. That's good enough for me, Duke. You're a bunch of suckers if you fall for that cheap line of talk and big promises. That's only your opinion. If you don't want to sign up, Move along. I'm not taking any of your orders. Don't pull that army stuff on me. some help, Turner. He can use it now. You think Duke Cameron can take care of you all right? You yeah. bet he can. I'll say so. I'm signing up. All right, men. Red will take you out to the road camp. Miss Foster and I will come out tomorrow with the payroll, as I promised. Well, it's all here. When the men see us riding in with this, those picks and shells will really start flying. 
The sooner we reach camp, the better. Has uh, Bill got the explosives loaded? Just about. I told him to load them carefully. It's that new stuff, blasting gelatin. A hard jolt might explode it. Here you are, Bill. got a nail wedged under one of his shoes. I'd better stop at the blacksmith's and have it pulled out. You folks go ahead. I'll come right after you. All right. Let's go, Bill. You're the one who drove the nail in my horse's hoof. That's right. With you out of the way, it'll make it easier for us to hold up that stagecoach. your guns away. I'll pass down that gold. Climb up and get the money. first. 